LM Associate Fellow at the Advanced Technology Center of Lockheed Martin Space, focusing on AI and machine learning for embedded systems and AI on the edge. I think we leverage a lot of AI machine learning in our everyday life that we don't really even understand and that'll definitely help us and benefit us in space by being able to enable a lot of pre-processes done on orbit and so we can do a lot of thinking, decision making and classifications of objects, detecting any, any threats or any concerns that we want to know and be able to handle them right then and there. Definitely leveraging AI and definitely leveraging the big boom of this technology to be able to leverage advanced hardware to be able to shorten that latency and also doing a lot of pre-processing to be able to send it to Earth a lot faster. So now I'm not sending all of the data, I'm basically sending the solution. Or we able to say, I don't need that data right then. When are we off comms, when we're off a mission and we had downtime, now you can send that, that data that, that corresponds with the solutions that you already got. As it learns that user's personality, their character traits, and the mission, it does everything to help adapt to that. But decisions are always made together, and the human's decision always will trump the robot one, but it always have a great suggestion or aid to help you make the correct decision. It's always an aid, always an assistant, never no takeover, never to fear that, because remember, the, the AI, the machine learning is more deterministic and more confrontational, not emotional. That's why we send the robots there first, to, to give us a better understanding of the unknown, to give us a better understanding of the survivability rate, and to give us a better understanding of you know, entry, descent, and landing, how that takes effects on humans, how many times we go to space and return from space, what are the issues there and, and gathering all that great big data makes it a more understanding way and a more give us a more safer way to get there. In the third grade winning a contest about building um, spaceships and spacecrafts and actually winning that competition and then fueling my engineering state of mind um, was able to do a lot of tinkering, robotics, went to a technical high school um, got, you know, engineering background and went on to, you know, my undergrad and multiple graduate degrees to be able to keep growing. Never stop learning. Being able to make a change and being able to be a part of it. Being able to know that one day my kids will see the, the great AI machine learning, the robotics that I, was on the moon and beyond. I don't think that feeling can never be replaced with anything else other than the birth of them. <laughs> you know, that's pretty much the birth of, of this is like in, in that same type of emotional state. <laughs>